519 Sports Online is proud to present the Sutherland Cup Championship Series in partnership with No Frills and the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League. Drop by your local No Frills location for freshness guaranteed and prices that won't be beat. Also check out nofrills.ca for the latest flyers and deals being offered. Good evening, everyone. Welcome inside the Steve Kerr Memorial on a Tuesday night for Game 3 of the Sutherland Cup Final. It's been a road series thus far as St. Mary's took Game 1. Lista will bounce back with a big win Sunday afternoon as we are just about set for Game 3. No Wiley Burkett means Dylan Shimanowski draws into the lineup for the first time in these Sutherland Cup playoffs for Listowel. And Benson Moore back after missing Game 2 in the lineup for the Sykes. Game 3 is coming up next on 519 Sports. Maddox Collins holds the zone into the slot. That one through the skates of Van Sumeren. Livermore, oh look out, Benson Moore. Welcome back to the series as he plasters Livermore on the far side boards. That'll set the tone in this one. Chopped out front, but it's picked up by Middleton. Almost turned it back over to Hodkinson. And here come the Sykes up through center. They got numbers. O'Donnell, though, offside. And O'Donnell taps that puck into the net, and that's going to draw a scrum. As the Lincolns take exception to that tap in from O'Donnell after the whistle. Every member of the Lincolns after Jack O'Donnell down low. And the linesman will separate things and settle it down here early on as the pace has been set. Has a man on the near side boards. That's Weir who lost it. And here goes O'Donnell with speed. He's got Dietz with him. O'Donnell into the zone is shut right on. And once again, the save is made by Abbott. And once again, O'Donnell stuck down in between a couple of Lincolns. Van Sumer and down there along with Weir. Later out on the far side, held in Montesi. Walks into one. That's blocked. Bouncing puck right to Bogart. Bogart lets one fly toward the net. Tipped on goal. And right there is Dixon Grimes up at the top of his crease to hang on. Scott back for it. Muhlenstein near side. Barkley. Hit off the puck, it'll be picked up. Here goes Urig on the near side. Urig flips it across. Urig scores! It's a Urig to Urig connection. And 2 0. Mason Urig gets the party started in Listowel. Psych strike first in game three as Listowel takes a 1 0 lead. <laughs> Knocked off the puck. It'll be played off the boards and back out at center. Bogart missed it. Here's Jack O'Donnell with a break. O'Donnell in outside. O'Donnell to the backhand. Abbott's down. Where's that puck? It's sitting loose out front and behind Abbott. How did that puck stay out of the back of the net? Oh, my goodness. Here's Yuri again. He'll stop up along the far boards. He'll feed it back down low. That's off of St. Mary's stick. And Hodkinson once again. He'll flip it over. Two on one for St. Mary's shorthanded. Fortman fires and scores! <laughs> Owen Fortman shorthanded and St. Mary's has tied this game at one. Off the faceoff. Two on one for the Sykes. O'Donnell's got Dietz with him. O'Donnell to the middle. Fires. Oh, how about it? Brandon Abbott, glove save, and he hangs on. Massive save for the Lincoln netminder. Middle of this second period. He keeps us tied at one. Livermore off the faceoff. It'll be fired down into the zone. Dixon Grimes will leave it in behind his net. McRobbie. Tap pass, Sykes got two again. It's O'Donnell and Dietz for the second time. O'Donnell fires, Abbott to save again. He shuts the door on Jack O'Donnell twice. Scott, back of the point. Fan on it, it's Jaden Lee with a short and break from center. Lee in, backhand, oh, Dixon Grimes. Sticks out the right pad and says no. And we stay tied at one as Lee looking to the rafters here in Listowel. Under a minute to go. Lee works it below the goal line. Back up top. Van Schumer in. Cornfield. There's a one-timer blocked by Middleton. McQueen Spence up top. Sigmund skating in. Out front. Oh, it's tipped just high. 
Bogart will flip it up. Picked off by McRobbie. A shot right on. And Abbott will hang on with 7.33 to go in the third. Listowel back up ice three wide. Yurig holds. Fires glove down by Abbott. And he will hang on with 30 seconds to go in the third frame. Alexander, a drive, out with the save, rebound! Hops over the stick of Yurig, another shot toward the net. It's blocked out front, and oh my, the Sykes had a chance at the end of the third, but game three of the Sutherland Cup Final will see overtime for the first time in this series as we end full time, tight at one. He'll settle it down and fire it into the list of Zione. Renault up at center. Here come the Sykes. Mullenstein has Luke Eurig to the net. Mullenstein drags around. Backhand shot. We got a penalty coming. It's going to be on St. Mary's. And tripping is the call. Listowel is going to go to the power play here. In the overtime period as Barkley's held off to the sin bin. Oh, boy. Sykes to the power play. Held in by Dietz. They get set up. Luke Yurig skates in, rink-wide pass off the stick of Dietz. Point, Alexander lets it fly, score! The overager, Jordan Alexander, on the power play! Sends the Kerr home happy! Listowel in overtime! Take a 2-1 series lead, and Jordan Alexander plays hero in front of a home crowd in Listowel. How about it? It took just over five minutes. The salute to the home crowd, and the Sykes will head back to St. Mary's Friday night for game four with a 2-1 series lead final from the Kerr. Sykes take it. In overtime, two to one over St. Mary's. I mean, I don't score much, so it's definitely near the top. Um, I got the puck from DT and I saw a lane through the net with Odie in front and just tried to pick my spot and luckily went in and blew the roof off the place. I mean, it was just so loud, like I couldn't even hear myself think. So then just all the boys celebrating there, it felt good. We talked going into overtime, um, you'd take this in August again, right? And um, these are the ones you remember. Uh, you know, we don't have to be stressed about it. We can embrace the opportunity. Um, you know, Jordy's an example of a guy that's not always had an easy road here. Um, well overdue for him, and, and um, you could tell by the smiles on the guys' faces out there. It wasn't just the goal, it was him scoring it, so obviously happy for him, and uh, we're going to need him to keep going moving forward. I think just keeping it simple. Um, you know, it's game... 70 something for each team so um, it's not pretty out there it's not going to be pretty moving forward uh, we don't have to be pretty on the power play we wanted to get net presence in pucks there and Jordy does a good job of getting pucks through um, power play Otis one after the first goal so uh, they responded for us that way and then we came through so we'll take it it's two good teams both teams are deep um, you know and I think they made some little tweaks with their lines um, we did as well obviously with uh, Berkey being out but um, definitely a, a chess match but um, you know these are the games you hope for all season long to be a part of as a coach and as players so um, it's going to continue moving forward obviously both teams are starting to get to know each other pretty well so that chess match just gets tougher moving forward. This entire series has been called very well like they're calling the penalties they need to call um, I thought they let the entire game go on for that to be a call in overtime. I mean, that is, it's a tough one to swallow. Um, it's, like I said, tough one to swallow. I thought the uh, first period, uh, you know, definitely could have got out of hand. I thought Abs, to, Abs did us quite a favor there. And then obviously Owen uh, getting us a shorthand goal. So that kind of got us out of the first period. Uh, you know, we started going up with the puck a little bit more, a little less deliberate in the second and third. And I thought, um, you know, we did a really good job. And then obviously in overtime, um, you know, certainly an unfortunate way to, to lose a game, uh, especially in overtime, but, um, you know, sometimes calls like that get made. Like Brad said, I thought we had a pretty slow start. Abs kept us in it there, and then I thought we started to pick it up in the second and the third, so tough break to end it, but it's whatever, I guess. And obviously, great pass by uh, Hodginson there, and I don't know, it was just a shot on that, and 
it won't end, so I'll take it. You're never out of a series. It could be 3-0, three 3-1. Nothing, three You're never out of a series. We, we try to believe period by period. Uh, hopefully we can show up better than we did tonight. Uh, we thought in the second and third period, you know, we were right with them at times, uh, getting the better of the chances. So if we can kind of come with that every, every minute from the start of the game, then we should be fine.